everybody. Um, I, I got bored today, and I found some videos on how to make rose water. And so, uh, I wanted to actually buy some rose water. I didn't realize how expensive this stuff was, and how stupidly simple it was to make this. So, I went to a second-hand store, and found a pot for three dollars, and I've got uh, a rose quartz on the bottom, and I've got peony flowers. There's probably uh, two bowls worth of peony flowers, and since this didn't come with a lid, I actually used the lid of a uh, aluminum Dutch oven, and I've actually been making rose water. And so you basically invert, and it drips down into the pan. So it's it helps to have something cold on top. I didn't have any ice, and I was going to def... This is actually uh, squash, butternut squash. Um, I was going to defrost the butternut squash anyway for dinner. So, um, the witch in the kitchen, I decided to use this icy cold block of butternut squash as the ice for the condensing of the uh, the water droplets on top. So, um, everything is working out okay. Uh, as far as I understand, you're supposed to only get it good and hot enough to steam, but not let it boil because you can actually change the chemistry of the flowers. And so, that's pretty much how much rose water I've got right now. And um, so, I'm going to keep it turned down on low today and see if I can't get at least a half a jar of rose water. And... Um, <laughs> There's what my little pot setup looks like, so I'm kind of impressed with this. And I will basically show you the end result product after it's done doing its thing. So thanks for watching, and I'll get back to you later. Hey everyone, this is my finished product for making the rose water. Now rose water does come out clear but I added just a drop of red food coloring. If you're going to be adding any colors to your water, make sure, if I can turn this around here, there you go, make sure that it is a plant-based dye, so that way when you go to add it to your water, you're not going to um, come out with color blotches all over your skin because of the dye. And the smell in this is just absolutely gorgeous. So. It was really fun. It was really easy to do. And uh, uh, if you love the smell of rose water and you love roses and stuff like that, this is probably the most simplest way that I think I've ever found of making rose water. And um, I'm going to probably be using this for cooking. It's actually in one of my uh, my little uh, oil thingy-bobbers here. So I'm probably going to be using this for cooking, uh, making uh, cookies and things like that. So, and I'm going to store it, be storing it in the refrigerator, so that way it'll last a little bit longer. So, that's the end result. So, thanks for watching, and if everybody has any questions, just let me know. Blessed be. Bye.